I'm Ken Coleman, and welcome to the newest Daily Doodles. In today's Daily Doodle, I am continuing my work on the flying squirrels, or this key flying squirrel that will be appearing soon in my The Furriest Fic webcomic series on Patreon. So I've been continuing to study something that had me a little bit puzzled. How do the wings deploy? If it's like Batman or... Uh, I knew it wasn't probably too much like the Man Bat from DC Comics. But I didn't know if it was... If you have it a hoodie and it's very windy and all the wind is coming at you and you just billow out. More like if it was a cape, but sort of like that. If the person had body. And watching videos of people's cute little flying squirrels and very cute little things. They're a little short and stout, but nimble. And their limbs have these saggy sheets saggy sheets of skin that go all the way from about their wrist to their lower torso and it's not like it has any ribbing like a bat wing but it's just skin and And I thought that was such a cool little trait. And with their legs, they often don't get around as quickly. Not sure if flying squirrels' hind legs are as strong as the regular tree, crime, tree climbing squirrels or the black squirrels you may come across. that they have the sagging skin and when one jumps it needs a little bit of distance spread out the arms And whoosh, uh, whoosh. The body becomes like a kite, or the um, those uh, flight suits you see in extreme sports athletes wearing. So the question now is how to utilize that in an anthropomorphic world where squirrels too would be expected to wear clothing. So for the big piece Going to draw this flying squirrel doing a acrobatic free fall.
body is a little bit arched. So trying to contain all the wind that is pushing up into those wings. Maybe those glider parts. And I can update those legs. Try this again from scratch. Sorry. I accidentally clicked on my browser instead of Photoshop. So we'd be looking at the face. And this young daredevil is going to be a female squirrel. Scale it down a little bit so that we can include more of the tail. I'm going to make her getting to the right altitude right now. Her legs won't be catching as much. Yes, I am not a professional skydiver, so I'm not sure if, if any of this is actual real aerodynamics you see the tail the between legs webbing a little bit wrinkled and the arms And I was looking carefully at what a flying squirrel's face looks like. I 
See now looking gently up at the viewer's POV. Squirrel cheeks, ears, the hair is tied back. I've been noticing that one of the key features of these flying squirrels is that they have a particularly big eyes. You know, key features along with the wings and stripes along the body. So now we can minimize that down a little. So what we are going to do next is create her gear. She's got a pair of goggles. And this will soon change, but her Costume also encapsulates the, um, the fold of skin, a folds, plural of skin. There will be a comic storyline soon about her trying to find a way around having to cover that skin. Nice thighs. Very strong and athletic. And now we get to the non literal ink. Phase. Let's see. How good is this strength? That is a little too wide. Uh, A little bit further. And that's getting close. Carefully get 
shape of her arms. Contour is going from the waist, one thigh, the leg to the ankle. Like that curve. That. Very carefully around. Uh, the tip of the muzzle. We'll do that in a smaller tip. The hands. How the feet go. Reduce that even more. Big patch.
ribbons. Again. As our hair is tied back. Do over on that. Last part would be the tail. And it would come out, out of her clothing, just above the butt. Let's say that just for the thrill of it. She jumps barefoot. All right, I still have a little bit more research to do on shape of the nose and how to pull that off. So just the general idea. So now for coloring it in. Coloring. First eyes in uh, that doesn't work There's a little shape, but not too much. As that last part between the ankles. Uh, 
All right. Now, this flying squirrel is going to be very daredevilish. She and many flying squirrels are extreme athletes, thrill seekers, very rebellious. Um, not so much rebellious, but very free, very free spirited. Hair. You could go from a medium shade of brown. To a nice tone of red. Hair can be in a bun so that it's all tied down. They still got a lot of that body, body of the hair. More highlights we go, more blonde we can add in. The hair on the top of her head. Often in anthropomorphic art, you see that the coat of fur isn't the only hair on a character, but they also have some on the scalp. Uh, the shape of the muzzle and the nose, that may be subject to change. As the comic gets underway.
So this tone right here is going to be one of the darkest tones of her coat of fur. But entirely unclothed, there is a nice dark line that goes along the top of the wing. But at least for now, you won't see much of that. There we go. And all right, drop that pen size back to twenty nine and add in some of the texture. I have a feeling that the ball and the heel of the main part of the toes, they are they would be darker on the underside. Since they make more contact with the ground surfaces when they're walk when people are walking. Not entirely sure, though. So if anyone knows the color patterns of a flying squirrel's feet, feel free to comment below. I would appreciate your suggestions. This one. Let's 
That would loosely be what she's like in the fur when she's not flying, gliding, I'm thinking that the flying squirrels would wear loose clothing so that way the flaps could hide within uh, wider sleeves, so sort of like kimono sleeves or ponchos, maybe not all ponchos. But clothing of that sort. It's tricky covering up big giant wings. But the fact that they are no veiny like bats, that helps. So with this version of the flight suit, it's going to be primarily purple with orange accents. Bumping that up a little. And the orange on purple color coordination, uh, the orange on purple pairing, it feels very extreme sports to me. It's got that infusion of energy and contrast. Warm tone on cool tone, both sharing a little bit of red in them. And let's say I'm going to add a little bit at the end of the sleeves so that it doesn't roll up her arms. Might not be as likely with the feet. Take that out. Oh, wrist extensions. I 
It can go over her wrist, around the thumb, and looping back. Holding her sleeve in position. I like that. Now the next step is the framework of her goggles. Very closely. Yeah. And for the lens, it's just going to be mainly very bright orange. Is that okay? Yes, it is. and their eyes can lightly show in the center. Tiny gleam. Awesome. Next step is to add depth to the suit. The outline of her spine and musculature. Just a little bit more.
know, the other component of her flight suit is what goes over her webbing. Do not leave it exposed. I need to try getting all those little contours. Because the beginning of the seam it is right along here. Just before the fold begins. And I'll see what I can do about making the wing fabric uh, blend in so much with her hair. Right. Let's gradually make it more of a shade of orange. All the folds will go in towards her core. These synthetic materials will be more vibrant. And this girl's hair. Yeah. 
more. like this. Really do. Take that out. And we start working in a background. Let's make some viewable land at the bottom. A distant bottom. Could be some fields outside of Vashbaren. The central city in my comic series. Seem irresponsible to go skydiving in over a city. So this would be a more fields, in a rural part of the state. Darker and more vibrant. Realistically, with some roadways. Some houses. And that's going to be far in the distance. Because the squirrel is high up. Should mostly be seeing this clearing. There's some light clouds.
that onto this side, green here. Clouds lighten, clump, different formations. Bring this green and that blue together in a haze. Oh, you pull some of that back out. Sorry. We'll try and lightly bring this back at minimized opacity. So you have some light in this dark blue, light in this shade of blue. Help create an effect of her descent. Did something over it. Very lightly. Only coming up with 
wings are blocking the way. This is exactly why our girl here wears goggles. Now we add to the green. Back up a little. See, even when I'm creating comics with a traditional non-photo, the traditional non-photo pencil and ink, there is a lot of fun that I can apply through the digital coloring process. In there. That is our skydiving, free falling. Uh, not sure which is the more adequate term. Flying squirrel. And just had to add the signature. So this has been Daily Doodles. And number 27. And I'm Ken Coleman. So thank you for watching this video and seeing another side of what is going to be the furriest fic. The Patreon link to where the comic is going to be can be found in the summary below. So I'm Ken Coleman. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Any comments if you'd like to subscribe and see further videos on my channel. Have a good one. Bye.